Hello everybody. Three videos in one week, is it even possible? Who knows? Well, I had another opportunity to get another video filmed and I wanna try and maintain this pace. It's all about pace. Going for the long run here, the marathon. So you gotta pace yourself. And every day you gotta do a little bit of training. So every day, I'm gonna try and get a video in. So, I've done a couple of videos in the last few days. I, we had some contest entry. We had a vinyl update, and I'm going to continue that with some new releases. Uh, in the background, trying to work with my light here. I think that's better. This is uh, Nick Drake. This is the Five Leaves Left. Just a beautiful album. This was an original copy I picked up. I talked about this in my last video. Just give you another little, little pick there of that without the plastic. Just beautiful. Anyway, before I get into the new vinyl, something that, that's new to me that I've discovered and been listening to a lot is... Uh, well, we got Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. We all know them. We all know Neil Young. We all always go to the Neil Young. But do we ever go to the David Crosby, the Graham Nash, and the Stephen Stills albums? And they were new to me. I'd heard songs, uh, certainly on different video albums, compilations, that sort of thing. But recently at a local record show, and these are cheap. Um, but I highly recommend all three of these. They're, they're outstanding albums and they're hugely important. Um, this is an original uh, David Crosby. This is, uh, if only I can remember my name. This is the textured uh, Canadian original, Gatefold. In good condition, one little, it's like it maybe was in a library or something, and that was where the barcode was, unfortunately, but pretty decent uh, copy of that. And um, very uh, a very, very, very good album. This is on the Atlantic, red label. Vinyl's perfect, which is obviously the most important part. And, uh, you know... This is uh, not too different from what you'd expect. It's folk rock, hippie, David Crosby. There's a ton of people to play on this album. Neil Young, uh, Mickey Hart, Paul Katner, Phil Lesh, um, Jerry Garcia, Grace Slick. So a real San Francisco. Mazzy, I'm sure you know this album, but all your people are on this album, Mazzy. All your people. And uh, just a beautiful album. Uh, music is Love, Laughing, Cowboy Movie. Um, I mean, I don't know the titles of songs. I've just been sort of repeating it, but great album. And then we go from that. We go into Stephen Stills. I believe this is just self-titled. Again, with the textured copy, uh, Love the One You're With, which I think is the biggest selling single from a member of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think. And um, on the same love, on the same label. Nope. <laughs> that's because that's David Crosby, Edwin. There you go. Atlantic Red Label, Stephen Stills, again in beautiful condition. And then my favorite of the three would be the Songs for Beginners, Graham Nash. And uh, this is a great, I really, really love this album it's almost got almost got a hint of almost like a jangly brit rock 
going on. And uh, that's on the Atlantic, the uh, green and orange. So if you're not familiar with their solo work and you're a fan of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, I highly recommend, they're like cheap, cheap albums. Anyway, this summer marked the 50th anniversary of the Woodstock Music Festival. And one of the most uh, anticipated records of the 50th year anniversary was the complete CCR, Crosby, Crosby, Stills, Nash Young, the Creedence Clearwater Revival set. This was a two album set that came out. Lovely gatefold. If you haven't heard this, I highly recommend it. It's wonderful. These guys just blew it away. John Fogarty was on fire. Apparently he was in a bad mood because the Grateful Dead purposely ran late to piss off Fogarty and the band. And it was like 3 in the morning and the crowd were half asleep. And uh, these four lads hopped up on stage and this is brilliant. Um, side 1 opens with Born in a Bayou, Green River, 99 and a half won't do. Side two is Bootleg, Commotion, Bad Moon Horizon, Proud Mary. Side three is I Put a Spell on You. The Nighttime is the Right Time. Keep on Chuglin. And the entire side four is a Suzy Q jam. And I gotta say, that's probably my favorite part of the record. Um, this is on Fantasy. And like I say, highly recommend it. And also, for the 50th anniversary, we have the Jefferson Airplane. This is also a double album. Actually, this is a this is a triple album. Pardon me. I can stand all the way back here. There's Grace. Nice write up. Great picture of Grace there on the back. Yeah, six sides. They're all on here. Somebody to love, White Rabbit, The Battle of You, Me, and Punil, Uncle Sam's Blues, Cover of Wooden Ships, David Crosby, Stephen Stills, Paul Cantor. Yeah, very good. And uh, I got it on this. Uh, Lovely aqua teal vinyl. Now, I know other people have shown these, but, you know, because I've been away, I wanted to show off and show that I have them too, right? Okay, fast forward here. We got two albums, two reissues. Not quite the same band, but connected. This is Parliament. This is Mothership Connection with this very cool almost 3D George Clinton popping off the spaceship. This has sort of like this uh, plastic cover. Uh, this is on uh, Humphrey Bogart Casablanca label. So we've got George Clinton, we've got Parliament, and then we also have some I've been looking for for a long time, Funkadelic. This is the uh, Maggot Brain. 
this is on Westbound Records. Well, it might be hard to focus. There we go. Of course, Maggot Brain has the famous opening track um, with that crazy guitar work that just goes on and on and on forever, the actual Maggot Brain song. If you don't know this album, this is definitely a must-have. And uh, let's see, where should we go next? Something out of the box for me. This is uh, Calexico, The Black Light. This is a 20th anniversary reissue. Now, this came from, I believe, Steve Carlson. Look at that for a cover. And um, I wasn't familiar with these guys at all. And uh, as the name would suggest, it's, it's a mix of you know, a California Tex-Mex kind of sound. It reminds me, it's like listening to a Tarantino soundtrack. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, I really, really, uh, really, really like it a lot. There was a, it kind of comes with like a, um, like a Japanese obi. Even though it is a U.S. pressing. And, um... Yeah, like, again, like, it's really new to me. I love the liner notes. Uh, they're quite political. Uh, there's, you know, they kind of, I like how they look back on the 20 years from when this came out. And uh, sadly, they don't think the world's improved much in the 20 years. And they call out a few of our favorites on there, and rightly so. So, yeah, if you don't know these guys, I picked this particular album because... Uh, when I was digging in the my local record store about new releases and I was in this section I, I just googled what's their must-have album what's the most go-to and um, this is the one that came up so this was the original album on side one and on side two it's b-sides and uh, you know different cuts extended mix special mixes that type of thing very 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 good now if Favorite from the 90s. This is a uh, garbage version 2. Uh, this is a reissue. Shirley Manson. Now, if you don't know about garbage, garbage were a female led grunge band um, led by Shirley Manson, the singer. And the band also contained um, Butch Ving, am I correct on his last name? Who was the uh, producer of the Nirvana. And after Cobain's death, he moved on to Garbage. And uh, had a run of, I mean, there's, I think they're still making albums. But I'd say the first three, this being the second, were very, very strong. And um, this contains, uh, I think, I'm Paranoid, which would be the big, the big hit off of this. I would love to get the first one, uh, the one in the pink cover. This is on a very nice orange vinyl. I picked this up in Italy. My wife and I were in Italy. Uh, at the beginning of October. I had a conference in Austria and my wife came with me and then we nipped down to Florence for six nights. And uh, of course you gotta do a little uh, vinyl shopping. And um, this is what I came home with. It was one of those stores that 
they weren't selling used vinyl, they were only selling new releases, so I was trying to think of something that I could bring home. And this is, uh, it's not um, labeled as made in Italy, it's labeled as made in the EU. So, still nice to have. And then, two albums by an artist that I was missing from my collection that I was big fans of is uh, Snow Patrol. And uh, this is their debut. This is Final Straw. Snow Patrol are a combination of being from Northern Ireland and Scotland. And uh, this was a really, really good album. This came out in... Ba -ba 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 -ba. In the 90s, but I'm not seeing a date here. Two thousand and four, pardon me. And um, "Run" was the big song. This was uh, Gary Lightbody, who was the singer. I saw these guys uh, in Vancouver a few years ago now, uh, with Noel Gallagher open for them. And they sound great live. And I'm a big fan. Of course, you know, again, the Irish connection. Anyone from Northern Ireland is uh, going to be big in my, my light column. That's not going in too easy. And then this was their second album. This had... They hit Chasing Cars, which I think, what was the medical show that had it as the uh, house, I think? I haven't opened this yet, so let's, uh, let's do that. It's an unboxing video. Again, these guys... Maybe the first three albums... Great artwork on this, too. And I believe this is just on black vinyl. Yeah. So kind of the later stages of Brit Rock. Um... Again, this song was never off the radio, but I got. But the album is more than chasing cars. There's some fantastic music on this, and I, I have to really recommend it. This came out in 2006. This was two years after uh, the original. Now, this one I just I just had to get because they had a greatest hits that came out that I loved. I, I played the CD to death and I've been waiting for it to come out on vinyl and it never, it never has until this came out. Now this is different. This is the very, very best of Crowded House. Crowded House, as you may or may not know, started in New Zealand. Uh, Neil Finn from Split Ends with his brother. They started at Crowded House and they had a pretty big run of hits especially here in Canada uh, something so strong um, weather with you don't dream it's over four seasons in one day you know it's it's very uh, acoustic rock driven Beatlesque in the harmonies and uh, it's just on a best of and yeah it just again a, a good childhood memory I think the first albums probably came out in about 86-ish. Yeah, 1986 on Capitol. Some good inner sleeves with lots of memories and showcasing the band. But you couldn't go anywhere without, you know, something so strong and Don't Dream It's Over coming on the radio. And um, yeah, it's just always being a Crowded House fan. So to me, this is a nostalgic I don't need all five albums. I'm just going to put on the greatest hits.
for that. Now, someone I've been really getting into, and I just picked up two of his albums, and now this is my new go-to. This is my... i got to collect all of these. We got uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. This is The Liar of Ophius and Abattoir Blues. And from what I understand, this was done to be, I guess, in 2004. It's a double album, and we've got two slightly different themes on each album. I, I don't know a lot about these. I've, I've listened through them once. And, uh, yeah, really, really digging from what I didn't, the small part I knew about Nick Cave and uh, trying to really expand and learn and, and pick up a lot of more and then of course he has this brand new release this is uh, Ghostine Ghostine it's funny how that S doesn't want to This is a new double album. And this is wonderful. This is really good. This would be my pick for best album of 2019 so far. This is really, really good. Uh, if you don't have this, this is a definite go and pick up. It's white label with black writing, so... Let me just see here. I'm just going to play around for a second. Turn that down a little bit. Oh, there you go. It's the best I can do. I'm still trying to master this lighting. It's better, better today than it was on the last video. This is nice too. This is a nice touch. This is a paper sleeve with a plastic built-in liner. I've never seen that before on a new release. It's about time. I'm sick and tired of spending all that money on a new album and you get a, a paper sleeve. Uh, okay. Uh, Beth Gibbons from Portishead. She actually has a new album with the Warsaw Symphony Orchestra that if you haven't heard, I've only heard it on iTunes. I've I tried to find it. You can get it on Amazon. And, but when I went to go look for that one, my local store had this one, which I believe came out in 2014, I want to say. Do a little bit. It says 2019 on this, but I don't think that's right. Anyway, this is on Island. And, uh... Yeah, Beth Gibbons, if you don't know, is the singer from Portishead, the trip-hop band from Bristol in England. And uh, her voice is amazing and can be, you know, turned in. I mean, she's singing classical and opera with this uh, Warsaw Orchestra. And uh, this is very ambient uh, background and... Um, you know, I, I wasn't familiar with it until I picked it up about a week ago. And, um, but it's lovely. And if you haven't heard this, highly, highly recommend it. Great photo, by the way. And um, this is uh, from the Netherlands, an EU pressing. And, yeah, it says 2019, but I think this was... But I could be wrong. Anyway, check this out. And last but not least... I'm going to leave you with Liam. Liam Gallagher. Uh, why Me, Why Not? This is his new solo album, second one. I stuck the hype sticker on the back there. And, uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, pretty much follows in the, in the shoes of uh, last year's album. It's, you know... Rock and roll, Brit rock, nice green label there. 
pretty green vinyl guy, which was one of the one of the places uh, where I took my name from for uh, the channel. Uh, Liam owns a clothing store in the UK called Pretty Green, and uh, you know in the UK we refer to Pretty Green as uh, having lots of money. So Pretty Green clothing, Pretty Green vinyl guy. Because it costs lots of money to have this hobby. Um, yeah, Shockwave, uh, One of Us, Now That I Found You, Why Me, Why Not, Halo. Decent album. And uh, if you like Oasis, uh, Rock and Roll, Brit Rock, you'll like this. Very good. Okay, guys, that's all I got for tonight. And I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with some more Vinyl Finds. Cheers.